Alrighty guys, man oh man, uh, this thing has put up one heck of a fight, uh, I'm finally getting somewhere on it, uh, she's together, I'm rolling over, and uh, this thing is going to have some compression, uh, I didn't, wasn't sure what I was going to do with the muffler for a muffler. I was looking around, and uh, it's so close to fitting. I mean, I'm going to have to bore all this out to, to match my huge port, but uh, the bolt holes back there line up, and if I center them, I'm about a half a bolt hole off from the bottom bolts lining up. And uh, I'll probably probably make an aluminum spacer and it'll double serve as a gasket um, or maybe I'll just put some sealant and not not run a plate but uh, the 460 muffler this is a muffler I found I, had, I just had sitting around my other option Beat them out a little bit off to his face and put, put a gasket. But it's it's so close to fit, and this, this thing's gonna be uh, absolutely sweet. So hope it runs as good as my expectations are. cover will have just a little bit of down down tension on it which just stop it from vibrating hopefully this thing won't shake too bad but uh, yeah this thing is majorly close I was gonna do a video on it and then it totally slipped my mind especially on this this crank because it's got the original groove where the stamp ring went for the 064 and then it's got the new groove where I put in in the same location as 460 and a trick to putting them, them seals in um, I know a lot of people use a pop can I don't like using a pop can I have had a seal using a pop can method before where it slid down and it put a mark mark in it and it wouldn't hold but I use packing tape I will oil up the crankshaft and then I'll put packing tape around it and then make sure the packing tape is above the crank so you can put your seal around and I'll lube the outside of it and you can push your seal right down in there and then hammer it in and then you can just grab onto the, this with a pair of pliers or if you got good finger grip you can just slide your 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 tape right off and then your seal's not uh, prolapsed and spitting spitting one of these out this is out of the seal that I knocked out of it um, I destroyed the original farmer tech seal uh, for one fitting that crankshaft in there probably 25 different times and I didn't want to buy bearings so I didn't sand the bearings out like I did on that 026 so every time it was a press in press out press in press out and uh, there's just two lips well three got this one that one and then the other one but uh, I've not been this uh, you know super duper geeked and uh, quite a quite a while about the only downside is the piston doesn't come all the way down to the bottom which is not a deal breaker uh, I can see my finger ports back in yonder there I was gonna make them bigger and then I figured I ah, will see how she runs first because uh, once you take it out can't put it back in but uh, other than the intake timing this thing's pretty much got the same timing numbers and same port work other than it's a little more aggressive on the uh, combustion chamber as that one I built uh, Tanton so I'm hoping for 10 plus horse out of this thing uh, 
How long will it hold up? I don't know. Uh, I don't have no way to cut these left-handed threads. I see on Joe's stroker build, he did. He welded up the crank. He's gonna turn it back down and then recut re the threads. Um, I wish I, I could have done that on this. I don't have a way to do it, but it's got a quarter inch of threads. You know, it uh, very worse we pull them threads, and uh, then we'll have to figure figure something else out. Uh, guess another option would be just pull the crank back out, completely turn this down a little, little smaller, and then I don't know, still wouldn't be very strong. Probably have to talk to Joe or something and have him do the same thing if we if we blow that or but I don't know I think Brennan on his four, 461 build I think he's got similar similar thing to that so yep so I had to come in this way and machine in I think it was almost three seven inch or something like that and then I had to shorten the back head because this the, the 064 crank was way longer but uh it was way longer on that side and it's a little bit shorter on this side but there's still enough magnet i think to fire the to fire it um this whole thing is super tight tolerance build uh would it have been easier to build a 660 absolutely uh 10 times easier uh but then I wanted to have a 92 cc uh, 046 now then, would I? So I am absolutely super duper geeked. I haven't made up my mind if I'm gonna buy new covers or if we're just gonna roll with my beat up stuff. We're running out of funds. Uh, we'll probably roll with the beat up stuff, I guess. We'll, we'll make her look like a beat up ugly slot saw that runs good so i don't know let me know what you guys think you guys take it easy and have a good one